Hey, how's it going everybody? So believe it or not, this is the first Ruben that I have found on defense. And even though he's not the current hero of the month right now, we've moved over to January. I did want to take a look at him for people who are still wondering. Um, obviously not the first to talk about it, but um, I think I have a valuable perspective to add. So I wanted to see for myself also, this is the first one I've faced Glad to see him at High Emblems to get the kind of full idea of what he's capable of. And the only dot damage on this team is Gravemaker, but that's all you really need to get an idea. Excuse me. Ah, oh, excuse me. Of what he's capable of, so. Looking at him again, 215 damage to the target of nearby enemies. All allies get 50% reduction to damage received from status effects for four turns. Uh, I don't know of any status effect damage that lasts more than three, maybe four turns. Um, and then summons a minion for red, but that will only be for himself. So yeah, let's see what he can do. I think he really should have had extra damage to green or something like that to make him even better because i don't think he's that strong like if you think about it the damage reduction sounds good until you realize that it's kind of just a worse version of a cleanse or an ailment block ailment block is the is the best just to avoid it in the first place cleanse is probably the second best and then you have this coming in after that so uh, yeah, he's fast, but his damage isn't really that high, so the ailment reduction is, I don't know, not that great. So let's see what it looks like to actually go up against it. Hmm... We can see what his damage is like too. So let's um, use Gravemaker before to see. So if we look at the card, it's going to be 404 burn damage over two turns. So that'll basically be 202 over two turns or 101 per turn. Um, so it's not an irrelevant thing. And the interesting thing is that dot damage happens regardless of the defensive stat, which is damage that gets right on through and drains straight out of HP. So, yeah, it is it is a relevant effect. It's just not quite as good as some of the others. And I think on the heels of multiple disappointing heroes of the month, um, he was just not received that well for good reason. Okay, so typically... Yeah, I guess I didn't need to use Gravemaker first, but that's okay. So, 389, 354 to another. Granted, that is on um, defense, so there's a 20% boost there. So, on offense, he's also at maxed emblems. So, on offense, you would see... <sighs> Only 80% of that. So I didn't want to hit him with those blues because that probably would have killed him. Um, Alright, we'll let him heal a little bit and then we will try to get that going again. Okay. Oh, zombies. All right.
Okay, Neath is gonna go off. But we're still protected. Let's see if this will kill Vela. Not quite. Alrighty. Well, our grief maker is dead, unfortunately. So let's can see his damage. So yeah, it's about sitting around 350 pretty consistently. Which is pretty low for only hitting three targets. If he had an ailment block for everyone, that would that would be quite good. That might be too good. That's what I was trying to think of. If that would be too much to balance him. I just feel like for me and my own options, he is a little bit lackluster. Um, but as is clear now, he's... He's definitely not useless, for example. Um, and I think he's better on offense if you're facing a lot of teams with dot damage like there are now. He lasts for four turns, which is a higher duration for some of those kinds of things. Ailment blocks, I don't think we've ever seen one that lasts longer than two turns, except when you're talking about Garnet. But even her first level, like Vanda and Grizzul, is only for two turns. I think her second level is for three, and her third level is for four turns, I think. Um, but that third level is like 15 tiles to charge, so it's quite... Whoops, dropped my phone. It's quite a lot. Um, so yeah, he definitely has a purpose, If you, or he definitely has value if you are... Um, if you do have him and you don't have a lot of great red options, he's definitely worth using. Um, he's a little situational because it's he's only blocking, or he's only reducing dot damage. Um, but yeah, I would say he's he still brings something to the table. But if you have better options, more competitive options, I would recommend those. But if you don't, um, and you're uh, you know free to play or cheap to play. He's definitely worth ascending. Um, but yeah, you can see that his damage on offense would be like... I think if you hit 300, that would be pretty lucky. He's probably more like the 250 to 300, somewhere in there. Maybe more like 275, more commonly. Um, and that's if you've got maxed emblems. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think if you've used him. Um, I know these heroes can be very different on defense versus offense. Like, Bayong was one test that I did where people um, commented afterwards saying he's actually really useful on offense for blocking some of the stronger AoE hitters since he does a really high blind, high percentage blind. Um, so if you've used Ruben on offense and you think he's better than I'm giving him credit for or worse, um, let me know in the comments down below and that'll help other people that are arriving to this video trying to learn about this hero. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.